Hello friends, how are you all? This is the second video of direct and inverse relation questions. In this video, we will solve few more tricky direct and inverse relation questions uh, with uh, the easy method that we have explained in direct and inverse relation question part 1. I will recommend you to watch the video of direct and inverse relation question part 1 first and then watch this video. Otherwise, you might uh, feel difficulty understanding the solution in this video. Here is the first type of question. A mason completes 5 or 12 part of a building in 30 days. How many more days will it take to complete the building if the rate of work does not change? As it is mentioned in the question that 5 or 12 part of the work is completed in 30 days and we have to find how many more days will be required to complete the work this question has two quantities uh, the number of days and the part of work following rule number one of direct and inverse relation questions solution i will write the number of days to the left side and uh, the part of work on the right side because the number of days is the to be found quantity here i will a right 30 and in front of 30 below work I will write 5 over 12 uh, because according to the question 5 over 12 part of the work is completed in 30 days and we have to find how many more days will be required to complete the work uh, now friends what uh, value will write below 5 over 12 inside this box now understand the question in 30 days 15 over 12 part of the work completes uh, then the remaining part of the work is 1 minus 5 over 12 and this equals to 12 minus 5 over 12 and then it is equal to 7 over 12 so I will write 7 over 12 in place of this box uh, which is below 5 over 12 because 7 over 12 plus 5 over 12 is equal to 1 in other words 7 over 12 part of uh, the work of the building is to be built now after writing 7 over 12 below 5 over 12 I will compare these two quantities the part of work and the number of days and you can see that the number of days and uh, work are directly proportional to each other because if uh, work increases then the same amount of workers uh, will take more number of days to complete the work therefore uh, these two quantities are directly related to each other to each other now i will draw the arrow lines because these two quantities are directly proportional to each other therefore uh, the arrow lines will be in the same direction now finally i will determine uh, the order of numerator and denominator on both side of equality uh, for both these quantities as these two quantities are directly proportional to each other therefore for both quantities the lower values will be the numerator therefore here x is the numerator which is also the lower value and 30 which is the upper value is the denominator and then the sign of equality and then 7 over 12 which is the lower value is the numerator divided by the upper value which is the denominator now x is equal to 7 over 12 multiply by 12 over 5 multiply by 30 and finally x is equal to 42 question type 2 Food enough for 240 men or 400 children is available. If 300 children have had taken their food, how many more men can be served with the remaining food? Uh, this is a special kind of chain rule question. First, we will look for the data in this uh, question. Uh, it is said that 240 men is equal to 400 children. And the second thing is, the remaining food is enough for 100 children because out of 400 children 300 children have had taken their food 
therefore the remaining uh, food is enough for 100 children now here is the solution simply speaking we have to find out how many men can be served with uh, the food enough for 100 children as it is given that uh, 400 children is equal to 240 men uh, if uh, we divide 400 on both side of equality then one child is equal to 240 over 400 men and if we multiply 100 on both side of the uh, equality then 100 children is equal to 240 over 400 multiply by 100 men and now finally 100 children is equal to 60 men therefore the answer is equal to 60 men so the remaining food is enough for 60 men so friends here are the practice question for this video uh, question number one Joe has 3000 square feet house and she pays house insurance of $50 per month 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 Isaac has a 4000 square feet house how much insurance he has to pay in two months if the insurance rate is directly proportional to the area of the house the second question is an employee spends 7 hour 15 part of salary in 10 days in how many days the whole salary will be spent this is the end uh, if you have learned something more about direct and inverse proportion questions uh, then share this video like this video and subscribe to our channel